All right, now we're going to drop uh, one down. This is their FFP2. I'm sure it's going to be exactly the same. I like how they're doing different colors on this one. And we're going to switch to that so we can see it and let it go down. Again, this is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We're doing the N95 test here on this FFP2, which is a uh, European standard. Uh, thank you to Vasilis for uh, preparing this. 99.68, see? Okay, so from a manufacturing perspective, it's like, I'm gonna put the same melt blown in both. It's just not worth it to have a different, from 95, because like, if it's a 95, like, I wanna make sure that like, it is well above 95, because if someone's testing this, I wanna make sure it's gonna hit those numbers. You know what I think they're doing? I think this is the same mask. I think this is the same exact mask as the SF FFP3, except with the FFP3, they just put it through more scrutiny. I, I bet you anything that is functionally exactly the same, it's a different color, but before they release the three, they just put it through more batch testing to make sure it's hitting that 99. Because look at that. If it's only supposed to hit 95, it's hitting 99. Like, oh my goodness, look at this. It's way more breathable. 121 Pascals, 121.4. Interesting. All right, uh, this says, oh, I did promise you guys pain. So. It's a continuous loop, so there's no way I can really test the if it's strong because it's it has one breaking point, which is here, which is why this design is like really nice, even though I think it looks dumb. Yeah, that's not breaking on your face. That's just, that just ain't breaking on your face. And if it does, the great thing about this design is you literally can fix it. Because I don't know if you've been somewhere out and like your ear loop breaks, it's super annoying. I actually have a trick for that, but it's lame. Look at that. It still works. Okay, it's a good design, just looks dumb.